It's the largest ship built in Canada in over 25 years. The most complex commercial vessel ever built in North America. The first in a three ship build program under construction at Canada's largest and most established shipyard. This is Davy Hull number 717, the 717th ship to be delivered from Canada's number one shipbuilder. The 130 meter long by 28 meter wide multifunctional vessel is built to perform a wide variety of roles in the oil and gas, renewable energy and naval markets. From laying subsea pipelines and building infrastructure several kilometers below the sea surface, to providing navies with forward ship repair, fleet support, and subsea search and rescue capability. The ship has been built to North Sea standards to ensure it can operate in some of the world's harshest meteorological and sea conditions. On board, the ship is fitted with a 23 megawatt power plant, enough electricity to power an entire town. The vessel can be controlled from 13 locations throughout the ship, including from two remote control units. The DP3 dynamic positioning system uses satellite, subsea acoustic, and laser positioning reference systems to ensure the vessel's six electrical thrusters can maintain the vessel in a fixed position. Such is the complexity of the propulsion system, as well as its sheer power. 717 can automatically hold itself in a stationary position within a margin of 50 centimeters in even the harshest of sea conditions. Because of the configuration of the thrusters, the vessel can move in all directions, including sideways, diagonally, as well as rotating perfectly on its own axis. In order to operate in the most severe mission-critical environments, all of the ship's vital systems are equipped with triple redundancy. That means in the event of a fire, flood, or machinery failure, where up to half of the ship's engines or thrusters are lost, the vessel will still be able to maneuver itself out of danger and back to port. The vessel is equipped with a 250-ton active heave compensated crane capable of working at three kilometers below the sea surface. The active heave compensation system ensures that the crane can be operated with pinpoint accuracy at even the greatest depths and whatever the vessel's motion may be on the surface. What's more, the majority of the machinery and systems for the crane are installed below deck, providing ample protection from the weather. As well as large storage and equipment areas below deck, the ship has a very large working deck space of over 2,000 square meters. Two hangars protected by hydraulic doors house the vessel's two remotely operated subsea vehicles. Each hangar is equipped with a control room and workshop. The vessel is also fitted with a helicopter deck capable of handling the largest of helicopters, such as the Sikorsky S-92. A large seven and a half meter by seven and a half meter moon pool is installed in the center of the ship for the subsea deployment of equipment, systems, and diving bells. Throughout the vessel are numerous working spaces, including offices, conference rooms, and control rooms. Inside, the vessel is outfitted to hotel standards and meets the highest comfort class notations for its 100 crew and passengers. Nearly every space within the accommodation is equipped with underfloor heating, as well as its own controllable thermostat for heating, ventilation, and air conditioning. Much like a hotel, each cabin also has its own keycard entry system. 
Each cabin is equipped with its own internet, satellite television, telephones, and ensuite bathroom. On board 717, you can find all the amenities you would need for a lengthy stay offshore. A large and fully fitted galley and dining room. Several lounges are located throughout the ship. A fully equipped gym and sauna. The vessel is also equipped with a full hospital facility 